I run a company, Decisive Leadership. It's a business and leadership coaching coaching business. And I basically run it by myself. So I'm cheap cook and bottle washer. The business problems I'm solving directly to start with are things like, you know, contracts uh, or agreements uh, for my with my clients. There'd be intellectual property protection things as well. Uh, I found that very useful uh, more recently, especially um, some of the workflows that are preset inside of the law path system for organizing things like a new business name, even, uh, which I used just recently was very useful and just streamlined the entire process. Engaging with the legal system, I've had uh, a couple of ups and downs. Um, so in the business realm, I uh, had to, well, initially, actually, I was I was looking at trademark protection and things like that. That was back in 2007. Uh, and I got some, got some reasonable advice on that, but nothing that was particularly usable at the time. Um, I did get some template contracts and things like that. Again, it felt like a lot of effort for something that seemed very boilerplate at the time. That's probably where one of the, where law path is a bit better because you recognize that a boilerplate is a boilerplate uh, and can treat it as such. Actually, one of the reasons I upgraded uh, from just the base level to the, to the legal level was the idea of being able to access a lawyer uh, on subscription which I thought was a brilliant idea. Uh, and the fact that I can, look, I'm 90% of the way there. I just need that extra 10% or I need the 10% to get me started and I can do the rest. I'm a big believer in self-service, so, but sometimes I just need to be pointed in the right direction. And the couple of times where I've, uh, where I've engaged through that particular method, it's been really useful uh, and absolutely invaluable. And it's not something I would have done. I, I would have tried to muddle through it myself more if I didn't have that function already, that, that capability there and built in. So that'd be it, as I said uh, before, you know, I really love the fact that you've got a lot of those common workflows uh, in there. And I've got three or four underway now for website and some of the compliance aspects there. Uh, so yes, that's, and having that library, the and the AI to point you in the again, point you in the right direction. I want a document that does something like this. Oh, you probably want that one. That kind of thing. The whole process was intuitive. So I went in and I said, I want to have a chat with somebody who was actually following on from one of the one of the Law Path webinars on intellectual property. And I thought, right, okay, so I kind of know that I might need something. It was one of those things where I didn't quite know where to start. And so I went, you know what? I've got the capability there. Why don't I exercise it? How am I going to book in with the lawyer? Oh, look, there's a button, book. And it really, it was absolutely like, it, it was as easy as all ordering Maccas, possibly easier. Uh, <laughs> And the, the whole experience, you know, logged online, had the discussion and got my, got my, got my answers that I needed. It was absolutely, it would, it was the next best thing to having an in-house counsel that I could think of. It, it's adding, adding additional rubrica, it's adding additional compliance aspects to my existing workflows. So where I haven't, where, where I've maybe been a little bit more, less focused on, on compliance, just due to the practicality of it, it now makes it easy, easy to add that compliance aspect in. I'm actually starting off kicking, kicking off a, some group coaching programs. So again, there's going to be, you know, a new set of challenges with that. Um, and that's to bring up a lot of the clients who aren't quite ready for the one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, and getting them up to the point where they are. And so again, there's, there's going to be a lot of talk about, um, you know, the different aspects of their business that they work through. And then after the initial, and bless you, um, after the initial onboarding 
period, uh, which will be quite extensive uh, and rigorous, there'll then be an ongoing group aspect to help them grow their business and really advance. And yeah, the, you know, having that, again, having knowledge that there's these compliance aspects available easily will form a, one of the, one of the pillars of that particular program. The advice I'd give to somebody looking who, who who's even looking at the looking at the website is seriously seriously consider why are you in business why are you in business are you serious about it if you are you must consider compliance and the most cost effective way for anybody starting out that I can think of is something like law path because it's it, it takes so much of that legal headache out that even if you do wind up needing a lawyer it's going to be so targeted so focused you're going to get the value 10 times over without even breathing hard